Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today on J. Bob and Sons, I'm opening up Garbage Pail Kids. But actually, I'm not ripping the packs. So the story behind this uh, original Series 7 box is I was actually the sponsor on a Jabs family break that he did on Halloween this year. So typically on Halloween, uh, uh, Jabs family, which is a YouTube channel that uh, I've mentioned before, and I can link below. Um, he does a lot of base, baseball breaks, and um, he likes to switch it up every now and then. I think we're about the same age, and so um, we both remember Garbage Pail Kids, and so he was sponsoring a break. It's, it's almost a full box of OS7. He gave me all the wrappers, which is cool, um, but you know, if you want to see all these being open for the first time, you can head on over to, to his channel and watch that. So I got this all in the mail, um, came in, uh, you know, a couple weeks after the break, and so just kind of wanted to go through them because um, just now seeing them in person is the first time I've held uh, OS 7 cards, and you can see, you know, we have some wax stains cards, but there's some pretty iconic cards in the set. Um, the uh, the filled filled up fill up here, yeah. So I got my card sleeves, I, I got my sleeves ready, uh, sleeving up ones I think might be able to get graded. Uh, so there's filled up fill up there. <laughs> I've seen that one before. Pretty cool puzzle back. Also, June Moon is definitely one that um, uh, I recall. Pretty cool one there. Um, looks actually pretty well centered, to be honest. So this might be going in my good pile. Feeling like that's a contender for grading, potentially. We got Short Mort. That's one I think I've seen before, too, with just the head sitting there on the cart. There you go, Homer Runt, baseball theme, always awesome, woefully off-centered. <laughs> Phil Grimm's definitely another one I recall, pretty good one there. Vanessa and Dresser, <laughs> you can see how off-centered this one is. Um, so again, we'll go in my collection, um, probably not going to get that graded. Um, but yeah, so... Really cool. So basically, this whole video is me just going through these. So GPK heads out there, you might uh, be interested in checking these out. Um, so a lot of cool stuff going on with GPK, you guys. Um, in fact, um, for my channel and myself, I've actually secured some some uh, some more packs of vintage. So um, we'll be doing a, a chase here soon on um, some error cards in OS 9 and OS 5, I believe. Um, uh, secure, oh, here's a really cool one, Haunted Forest. That one is awesome artwork. Too bad that one's off-centered. We got Screwy Dewey. So I thought it'd be fun to open up some more packs and uh, look for some of the errors or variations of the Garbage Pail Kids. So like Bobby Booger here, there's, there's another um, very, there's some variations in this set that really aren't error cards, just kind of like different variations. Um, so nothing too crazy in here, but in some of the other sets, uh, there can be some really cool kind of error cards that you can hunt for. So we'll be doing that soon. And as you know, you've been you've been watching my uh, GPK Chrome videos. Um, those have been you know pretty successful. And honestly, I've been having a lot of fun opening up Chrome Series 3 this year, you guys. It's been super fun. Um, and um, have some fun videos, uh, more videos to come with the GPK Chrome. So same with the vintage, just like the Chrome and the newer stuff. I'm kind of sorting through these and just want to look for the ones that seem to be the most centered, you know, no, no major corner dings or damage. Um, Christine vaccine. This is a good one for our day and age, don't you think? <laughs> Vaccines rolling out now across the country. Christine vaccine. That's a timely one. <laughs> we got um, sharpened Sheena. <laughs> Busted Armand. Nice one there. Louise Squeeze. Total gum card there. We got Reptilian Lillian. Which is another, the other card for that is J Prey, which is a cool one. We've got Mickey Mouths. A bunch of mouse all over his head, or all over his body. It's kind of gross. Barf and Barbara. Gotta love that. Classic. 
jackpot. So these are awesome. So some of the artwork I'm familiar with, some of them I'm just really seeing for the first time. Gum stain card there. Noah body. Nice one there. Another cool baseball one, which is kind of nice. Um, the baseball themed uh, vintage Garber Pell kit. So pretty cool. Shut up, Sherwin. There's the Haley Comet. Nice. Yeah, I like the artwork on that. Very cool. Very clean, this one. So Haley Comet. And um, I'm excited about those ones. So hopefully I can get a couple of those ones graded up. The Haley Comet and then the June Moon. So we'll see. We got Louise Squeeze again. So there you go. So there's the J Prey. Really like the name. <laughs> you see, I bought a J Decay recently. Pretty excited about J Decay. My first OS1 graded card ever. It's kind of awesome. Shout out to Vintage GPK for that bad boy. We got the Monte Carlo. Looking pretty. Oh, got a little bit of gum stain on that one. Really fun card. Got the wax on the front, a little bit of gum on the back. Oh, it's just some smuts on the back. We got Blown Joan. Pretty cool in there. <laughs> kind of disgusting. Nice puzzle back on that. Ruben Cube. <laughs> Rubik's Cube parody, which is very cool. Got the Milky Wayne. Kind of hilarious. And this dotted Lionel, I really like. Just because how the artwork kind of goes up and over. Like, kind of takes up the whole, the whole full art frame of the card. Unfortunately, that's the gum card. Now, this, you guys, is Blasted Billy 2. And this is the B card in this set. You can see this one has wax on it. But, um... I can definitely work with this card and get the wax off. Uh, you saw one of my previous videos. Um, I just used like a microfiber towel to get the wax off. And usually I'm pretty good at doing that. Um, but this is really cool. So the A card is Adam uh, Adam Boom. And the, the B card is Blasted Billy 2. So a very, very cool card there. Um, and that's one of the ones I was most excited about from this break. Um, so I just really wanted to show you that. So Martian, uh, Marsha. <laughs> Nice puzzle back on that. And the Bulls, Ira, next up in the uh, in this stack, which is cool because it's the artwork on the box. So the box cover art, Bulls, Ira artwork um, is on the box of here. So it's pretty cool. And next up, we got the Cannibal Stew and Have a Nice Dave. <laughs> All right. Okay, you guys. So at this point, um, I lost the video for our, for the rest of the uh, opening of you know just showing you the cards from that box. It just the the video got all destroyed and decrupted. So, but anyway, I did get one Adam Boom out of the box that we got from Jab's family. Um, unfortunately, the, it was the gum card. So you got a nice big gum stain there. Um, I actually am giving that one away. And then I got three Blasted Billy 2s, which is really cool. Um, so not a bad box for sure to get some Atom Bomb uh, parallels. This first one here is the most off-centered, um, but looks good otherwise. So I may hold off on sending that one in. But these two Blasted Billy's looking pretty good um, as far as centering. This one right here I think is the most centered. Um, but yeah, really kind of nice cards to get out of this break. Um, so I appreciate being able to sponsor that one. Uh, but I just wanted to show you guys the potential. This, this, you guys, is a PSA 10 Atom Boom. So um, this is the actually the only PSA 10 Garbage Pell Kid card I own. I bought it like this. As you can see, even a PSA 10 is not a perfect card. I would say this is a little off-centered. So I have some hope. <laughs> I do have a lot of GPK cards out at PSA. I have some hope for them that I might be able to get some 10s. <laughs> so we shall see. But yeah, I'm really proud of this one. I, I just bought it straight off of eBay. Got it for a really good deal. It's gone up in value since when I purchased it. So that's always good when you're buying cards. So yeah, you guys, uh, really cool cards. Loving the GPK, geeking out over at Hardcore. <laughs> All the vintage stuff. I got some more vintage on the way. I can't wait to share with you guys. So um, so I guess that's it. So thanks so much for watching this. Uh, stay safe out there, and I will see you on the next one.